Hey, what's up, guys? Harley here. So I had posted this blog post, uh, I guess, a while ago, it looks like in February, about how to brute force websites using a tool called Hydra. And it's been super helpful. I think uh, it's it's actually one of my like, top performing posts, so I figured I'd make a video that kind of breaks it down for those that like to learn through, you know, like visual and seeing stuff happen. So that's uh, what I'm going to talk about today. I will put a link to this blog post down in the description if you'd like to come check it out. I think it's mainly going to be helpful for like copy and pasting commands and whatever. So I'm going to be referring to this as we go through. But basically, the post just talks about a box on a website called Hack the Box, which if you don't know about, uh, definitely check it out. It's an awesome place to go and practice your hacking skills. Um, but they've got a machine called Nineveh. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And that machine lives at this IP address, 10101010 10, 10, 10, And there are a couple different web pages that that machine has that are brute forceable. Um, so I'm just going to use this box as like a, an example as I go through and show you guys how to use Hydra. And yeah, I think you'll learn a lot in this one. So let's uh, let's just dive in. So Hydra is actually not that difficult. It's just a bit confusing because it takes so many different options. Um, and, and there are some things that we are required to feed into it and the syntax can just be kind of convoluted. So um, as long as you know it, all of the pieces to piece your command together, then actually getting the command running isn't too bad. So these are all of the different items that we need to provide in order to successfully perform this attack. And I'm gonna help walk you through how to go about finding each of these. So the first thing we need, the, need to know is a, a login or a word list to provide for usernames. So if we go out and we look at this login page, the cool thing about this one is if I were to type in like admin and password and try to sign in, it comes back and it says invalid password. Um, and the reason why that's cool is because it doesn't say like invalid credentials, right? So it, it kind of guarantees that the, the username we just provided was legitimate and accurate. Uh, it just didn't like the password. So what if I were to do like does not exist as a username and, and password as password? Yeah, so it tells us invalid username. So that confirms, okay, cool. We've got a way to enumerate users that we don't need to... Um, I guess necessarily like confirm a username a different way. So we could actually brute force usernames if we wanted to get a, a list of users on the system, but we were able to guess admin was a valid username. So we'll start there. So we've got this first one. I will open up this mouse pad and we'll just kind of keep track of it. So we'll use admin as our username. And then we need to provide either a, a single password to use or a word list for passwords to use. And that's the part that we don't know, right? We don't know what the password is. So I'm gonna use a word list that's already on the Kali system. Uh, it's under user share word lists and it's called rocky.txt. And this is a great one to use um, if you already, like it, it, for like CTF based challenges and stuff like that, like just make sure. Cool, yep, rocky.txt is already present on the system at that spot. We'll clear that out. And I think I had a typo, there's no E there. Okay, so the next item that we are going to need is an IP address or host name, right? Well, that's simple enough. We've got that right here. Cool. We also need to know what method. Are we using a, a post or a get request when we try to submit this request, this login attempt? So there's a couple ways to find this out. Um, one of the easiest ways is just right built into to Firefox. If I open up the inspect element and we come into network, we can see the different requests that are, that are being submitted. So like if I were to come in and I say password, try to sign in, we've got a post request right here. And it's showing that this was a post request out to the login.php file. So this confirms we're, we're submitting a post request. Another way to do this is you could spin up like burp suite. You can turn on intercept and then you could just do the same thing, right? Like admin, password. And then we can again confirm, cool, we've got a, a post request. So we know that we are issuing a post. And then we also need to know the directory and the path to the login page which we've got right here. Put a slash here in the beginning. Request body for the username and password. So we got a couple ways to find that as well. Uh, for If you wanted to, to stay in Firefox, you don't want to spin up Burp Suite, you can come into that post request and then you click edit and resend. 
And then if you scroll down a bit, you've got the, the request body right there. So I'm just going to copy that out. We'll throw this into my mouse pad as well. Um, but likewise, you could do it in burp. Is that request only here? It's not, so I'll have to send another one. And this right here is the request body. So basically everything underneath all of the, the header information is going to be the, the actual body of our request. So it's the same thing, whether you take it out of Burp Suite or you take it out of Firefox. And then finally, we just need a way to identify a failed attempt. And in this case, we've got text that shows on the page that says invalid password. So I'll just copy that out. We can throw that in here as the last piece to our pie. Get rid of these spaces before and after. Okay. So these are all the different items that we need. And now we can just kind of go through and piece it all together. So as we kind of go through the blog post, it tells you, okay, well, we know dash L would be for admin. If you wanted to use a word list for, for um, usernames, you could use a ca uh, dash capital L. Likewise with password, we're gonna use capital P, but if we only wanted to do like a single password, we could have used like a lowercase P. So um, pretty simple keep coming down. We do know that the post request needs a little bit of extra, so we need to use HTTP post form. And if you're attacking a site that's running on port 443, if it's if it's got a, an SSL certificate, you'll want to need uh, you'll you'll need to use HTTPS instead of HTTP. So that'll be what we specify there. That's easy enough. We've got that. We're just kind of going through the post that shows you how to go out and capture this like I like I just showed you. Okay, so we've got all the items, and now we can piece the command together. So this is the actual syntax of what the command's going to look like. You start with the username, you start with the password, the IP, the method. So you have to have certain things in parentheses separated by a colon. Um, so the actual finish command is going to look like this. So I'm going to copy this guy, and then we can just kind of break it down through our mouse pad here. So I'll paste it in. It will make this a little bit more central. So we're going to use sudo, and then we're going to say hydra lowercase l as admin because we only want it to use the admin username. Again, we could do capital L and then provide some word list right here. Um, but in this case, we want to brute force the username admin. And then capital P, because we're providing a, a list to use, we're going to use that rocky.txt. So that's taking care of these two things. The IP address is third, that post request method. And then we open our semicolon, sorry, we open our double quote, um, and then we start providing the actual path to the file that we're hitting, a colon, and then we're gonna say username is equal to admin and password is equal to, and then we've got like this placeholder here called pass. And this, if you, if you put this in just like that, that will tell Hydra, okay, this is what we want to take out of the word list and provide it to the password. We could have, if we were brute forcing usernames, we could come in and we could do caret in all caps user oh, caret, and that would tell Hydra, okay, this is our placeholder for any username that we might want to pull out of a word list. But since we're not doing that, we can just hardcore hard code admin in, since that's that's what we want to hit anyway. And then finally, we've got a colon and then invalid password as the text to display when the login attempt was not successful. And this is super important because this is how Hydra is going to know, well, hey, if I try to sign in and I don't see this text, that indicates that, oh, man, that was a, a successful login attempt. So I'm going to grab all this, copy that out, and then we'll throw this into a, a terminal window. And we'll just go ahead and hit enter. And I'll have to provide my password since we're running this elevated. And then it's just going to go through and it's going to communicate to that uh, web server and it's going to try to brute force it with the rocku.txt word list. So I'm going to use the, uh, the power of video editing here to just kind of pause the video. Um, but then the next time you see me, we should have cracked the password. Okay, so here we are just maybe like two or three minutes later, and it looks like we were to, able to successfully crack this password after all. Uh, so this is the password that came back, and we can just verify that it's actually working by coming out to the page, and I'll probably need to say, drop that request burp. Close all this out, and then I'll try to sign in with admin, and I'll paste that copied password. And check that out. We are now, now logged in as the administrator. So 
that's it, guys. And if it took you longer to get this password or if you're following along with me and, and it's been a couple minutes and it still hasn't cracked, just give it some time. It's probably just dependent on your internet and Hack the Box's internet and how fast that box is responding to these requests. Um, but yeah, we, we were able to successfully use Hydra in this case. Now, there is another login prompt that you guys can go out and try to brute force as a challenge. Uh, it's available here at this address. And little little tip, I do have uh, a post here that tells you how to brute force that second login page. But if you want a challenge and you want to see if you could take everything I just taught you and try to apply it on a real example, go ahead and give this a shot. Um, I think it'll be a really cool learning experience. So thank you so much for checking this video out. And please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, if nothing else, take a second, hit the like button for me. That super helps out the channel and keeps uh, keeps my videos popping up in other people's feeds and stuff. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. So I'd love to hear your feedback if you have any comments or anything you'd like to share. Until next time, this has been Harley, and I'll see you in the next video.